One of the most important things about animation is the ability to edit your motion. Let's take a look at how we do this. Let's make a new animation for our knight. I'll start by dragging this motion clip onto him. And now let's open up the timeline. I'm just going to go to Window, Timeline. Now, if I scrub the timeline with the left mouse button, you can see that he's slowly advancing to his right. iClone is a auto key system, so when I grab the knight and move him to the right, you'll see a transform key created. And I'm going to slide that transform key to the beginning. The result of this is it changes his starting position. I can also use the hotkey Control B, and that's going to split the clip wherever the playhead is. So I split the clip in half and slid it all the way to the left on the timeline. The important thing to remember here is that the transform keys are totally separate from the motion clip, and that you can use Control B to split a motion clip at any time. Slowing down our night's walk cycle is one of the easiest things to do. All you have to do is grab the end of the motion clip, left mouse button drag, and drag it to the length that you wish. It will automatically recalculate the keyframes and slow the walk down. Now, if you grabbed the end of the clip and actually dragged it so it was smaller, it would speed up the walk cycle. If we zoom in on our night, you'll notice that there is an error. The shoulder guard on the armor is passing through our shield. If we move through the sequence, you'll see that it happens whenever he brings the shield forward. Let's select our Modify tab and go to the Animation section and then Edit Motion Layer. Now we're going to select the wrist, and with the Move tool active, we're going to start making some adjustments. Now you may notice that this uses Human IK, which is the same thing that you have in Motion Builder and in Maya. Now our playhead is at the end of our motion clip, and you'll notice there's a section called Motion Layer with a single keyframe. And that is the keyframe that we're making currently. We can use the Translate and the Rotate tools here and easily adjust the arm until that shield is no longer blocking the armor. Now, be aware, what you're actually doing is you're creating an offset. Our motion clip animation is still there. We're just providing an additional offset to say, bring this arm forward slightly, but use the existing motion clip. Now, be aware that this is a very simple example, and we're only using this single keyframe in the edit motion layer. And you can see it there towards the end of the motion clip. You could add additional keyframes for the edit motion layer along the timeline for the duration of the clip and it would animate between them but here we're just keeping it nice and simple and using a single keyframe so now you know how to edit a motion layer and this allows you to easily edit motion clips and adjust them to your personal needs Let's add some more animation to our knight. Now we already have this slow walk that we set up with him, but I think we need to add an idle next. Now with my playhead on the timeline at the end of this walk clip, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop an idle motion, and you'll see it immediately append to the end. I'm adjusting the transition between the two clips by moving the small outline box that you see at the beginning of the idle animation. Once again, I'm going to make sure that the playhead on the timeline is at the end of the last clip, and I'm going to drag a new clip onto the character. Now we adjust the transition between the two clips once again. So far this looks pretty good, but let's add an attack animation to this. Once again, I'm going to move the playhead to the last frame of the last clip we have and add another motion clip. And again, we're going to move the outline box to adjust the transition. So here's the whole animation. You can see just how easy it is to add predefined motion clips to your character and how easy it is to adjust the transitions between each clip. Now let's have our monster look at our knight. So I'm going to select the monster, 
I'm going to go down to where it says pick target, click on it, and then click on the knight head. Instantly, the monster looks at the knight. And as we scrub through the timeline, you'll see that it continues to follow wherever the knight goes. So I'm just going to rewind to the start here. And let's look at our final shot that we have so far. Let's see if we can find a more interesting camera angle. Go in a little bit, drop the camera down slightly. I think that is a fairly interesting shot. And see, this is the nice thing about this is that we can go and we can try three or four different variations until we're happy with the way the shot looks. And all of this is done real time. 